All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video, and ooh, buddy, E3 2021 is just around the corner, and I am so freaking excited. Uh, just a heads up to everybody out there, I will be streaming pretty much everything for E3 2021, uh, including, I think I'm going to do a stream for the Gorilla Collective live stream happening in a couple days. It's not even E3. I think I'm going to do a live stream for that. If I don't, then I'll, I will definitely cover it in some form. Um which uh will be fun i'm gonna watch pretty much everything that is happening during e3 for sure uh, i'm so freaking excited for e3 you guys have no idea i missed it last year even though there was still some good stuff last year it just wasn't it, it wasn't the same it wasn't it was just wasn't the same you know just the 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 barrage of content in in the in the span of just a few days is always amazing for e3 um but last year of course we didn't get it um which is fun you know we got we, we had good stuff last year I, it's just last year oh my god imagine just how amazing it would have been if we had a regular e3 last year was the release of two brand new consoles <laughs> my god anyway um so now we are of course post ne next gen i guess so just current gen um and uh yeah so i'm excited but but we're not talking about sony or, or xbox or whatever in this one we're talking about Nintendo and what the hell they're going to have up their sleeve at their uh, little event, their little showcase happening on the 15th. They already confirmed it's going to be around 40 minutes long. Uh, right after the presentation, they're going to have, uh, I think they said three hours of gameplay during their uh, their Treehouse Live event thing, um, which they, I think they do every time there's an E3. Um, I think I think that's true, right? Every E3, they have a three, like a two or three hour gameplay demo session where they check out a bunch of games. Um, I know they definitely did for 2017 and I think 2018. And I can't remember if they did it for 2019. I'm sure they did. Um, I am, I think they did it for 2018. Maybe they didn't actually. I know 2017 definitely because they show a bunch of Breath of the Wild, I think, or Odyssey or something like that. It was, it was whatever. Anyway, I am super, super excited. I really am. I can't wait for E3. And I'm here to make some predictions, baby. Now, of course, my predictions are always accurate. Um, luckily, no one gives me shit for it because I don't think anybody actually cares what I have to say. But uh, <laughs> but I'm going to make predictions anyway because I, even if no one cares, I, I, I don't shut my mouth. So I have some predictions. I'm sure they're all going to be wrong. And uh, yeah, uh, and extremely hopeful. But you know what? I think this is the time... To be hopeful because of course we have the nintendo switch pro that is most likely happening uh there's a rumor of it being revealed very soon before e3 happens so when e3 does happen they can talk about all the games that are coming for the pro uh i'm not gonna talk too much about the pro i'm just gonna say i i really do feel like they're gonna announce it soon and when they do announce it soon they're not gonna talk about it too much at the direct the the e3 direct um they're gonna talk about mainly during whatever they're gonna do in the next week or so um which i think there's a there's a lot of rumors saying it is i mean there's already been like a bunch of listings for it uh there's a rumor about it being revealed tomorrow as of recording this uh june uh 3rd thursday um you didn't know what that was uh, there's a big rumor about it being revealed tomorrow but who knows we, we've had a lot of rumors about nintendo stuff in the past that just never happened so <laughs> rumors are just you know i mean they're hopeful dreams and they, they don't fucking ever happen but yeah Maybe one day. Uh, anyway, Switch Pro, uh, I do think it's going to happen before, of course, the uh, the E3 uh, Direct. But let me get to some predictions. I'm going to go through these pretty quick because they, they, I, I wrote down a bunch of predictions. I don't think any of them are crazy when it comes to, like, things that... Uh, they are crazy when it comes to, like, if they were revealed, they're going to be big. But I don't have a lot of stuff that's, like, crazy as in, like, nobody else is, is either hoping for it or predicting it. You know what I mean? So, my first thing, of course, is Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, they'll show it. That'll probably be the ender. They'll probably end it with Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, they're going to show it off. They're going to probably have a nice trailer, which I hope is is just as good if not even better than that breath of the wild uh trailer from like four years ago that they showed during the nintendo switch presentation my god that trailer holy shit still one of the best video game trailers ever uh they're gonna reveal the actual title um i don't know what the title is gonna be i can't even predict it but uh i'm gonna say here's a prediction for the title i think it's gonna be people are gonna be lukewarm on it they'll be like what you know they'll be like uh, okay whatever um but I wouldn't be surprised if they just say, "Ah, eh, screw it, Breath of the Wild 2. That's what it's called. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wind. I don't know. Breathe of the Wild. Um, 
So yeah, so and here's my prediction with Breath of the Wild 2. It is coming out this year. That's a that's probably that's really hopeful. Uh and here's a here's even more hopeful. Uh it will launch with the Switch Pro. Um that is a huge, 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 huge hope. Um, but it would be amazing if the next version of the Switch will launch with a Zelda game just like the previous version of the Switch launched with a Zelda game. Uh, that would be very, very nice. Uh, that is, again, a, the dream. Uh, is it going to happen? No, probably not, but that's that's a big hope. Um, I think they're also going to show, of course, a new Smash Fighter. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and, like, oh, debate, like, oh, who's it going to be? I'm telling you right here. It's either going to be Master Chief, Doom Slayer, or Crash Bandicoot. Those are the three, and if it's none of them, but watch yourself, Nintendo, because I ain't going to do shit about it. I'm going to just cry. I'm going to cry right on the stream while I'm watching it. I'm going to fucking big... Fat tears. Uh, put Doom Slayer in. You know what? I won't even be surprised if Doom Slayer never even gets like rumored about um, at this point. Because I think in the pre in the past it's had it's had some rumors. But I feel like the hype for Doom has died out ever since like Doom Eternal got completely snubbed for pretty much fucking everything at the Game Awards and all these other award shows. I feel like the hype for Doom has just died. It's oh, it's a fun action game, but who cares? It's it's fun. Games don't need to be fun. They need to be emotional, story driven. Fucking you know, like oh man, uh, golf club to the head. You know, they have to be those games. Uh, so I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, Doom Slayer would love that. Uh, the reason why I said Master Chief first though is. There is, there has been a lot, a lot of rumors, and not only rumors, but a lot of leaks about there being a lot of connections with Xbox when it comes to Nintendo. Nintendo and Xbox have been pretty chummy, chummy in the past. Of course, they let them let Nintendo use Banjo for uh, for Smash, and of course, Ori. The two Ori games have gone to to uh, to the Switch, and of course, Cuphead went to Switch. It did go to PS4 eventually, but it first went to Switch after Xbox. So a bunch of games have gone to nintendo switch um and a lot of people including me have been saying it would be really cool if in, in some way somehow game pass shows up on nintendo switch now how is that going to work i would think it'd probably be streaming like kind of like what they're doing with the cloud stuff when it comes to like uh they had control and a couple other things went like cloud i think hitman 3 is on cloud right so i think it'd be like that and that's the reason why i think the they're waiting to do that uh, waiting to announce that Game Pass thing because I think it's gonna be streaming in some way, and I have a feeling that w the Pro, the 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 Switch Pro, this is not the last time we're gonna talk about the Switch Pro, which is a lie. We all know that's a lie. Uh, I think it's gonna have some some connectivity to the internet that's way better than Wi-Fi. I guess what what would be freaking 4G, 5G, 8G? I don't even freaking know anymore. <laughs> it's too many G's out there. Um, but I have a feeling it's gonna have like a way better like you can connect to like anywhere you know because that's one problem with the switch is that you can't really play online games while you're on like a on a train unless there's wi-fi which whatever um or on the go in a car or on a plane which you shouldn't play electronics on a plane anyway but whatever um when you're allowed to when you're allowed to you know turn you can turn on your devices play a little overwatch you know whatever on switch you know play it in 30 frames if you you know you want well 30 frames if you're lucky most of the time it's around 20 um but whatever. Um, I, I think... It, I, that might even be something that's already been confirmed as to it won't or will be in the Switch. A, a, a better... Because that's one thing. It doesn't even have an Ethernet cable, the freaking Switch. So you have to buy like a whole thing to put an Ethernet cable in. So you always have to use Wi-Fi unless you buy that component thing. Uh, which I use my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is pretty good. I actually use my Wi-Fi for, uh, for my computer right now. I don't even have an Ethernet cable. Oh my god, I got an itchy nose right now. All right, let me get through these quicker. All right, so Game Pass on X... Uh, I put Game Pass on Xbox on my notes. Game Pass on Switch. Uh, in some form, it will be there. Will it be every game? I don't think so. But it will be like a, a select few. God, just like how PC and Xbox are both uh, different when it comes to its selection of games, I'm sure Switch will be like a few games. You know, not too many games. Definitely no games that will like coincide with games that will release on Switch. Like, you know, like, I don't know. Just say like uh, the like the Dark Alliance game coming out. I'm sure it's not on Switch. I don't think it is. But say it was coming out on Switch, and that of course is going on Game Pass Day One on Xbox. I'm sure that Nintendo wouldn't wouldn't be okay with that going straight to Game Pass. 
day one, you know, because they want those that money. Um, but like games that you can't even play on Switch ever, like Halo, that would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know. That's probably a dream. Uh, all right, let's get through some of the quicker ones. Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, this one, I, I'm actually not too sure if they're going to show it, honestly. Because I have a feeling this is, get, this is coming out in June, I think, right? I mean, not June, I'm sorry, J January next year. And I feel like this is more of a Pokemon Direct thing. Um, but they could show it, show a little bit more of it, uh, see if it's updated a little bit more ever since, uh, what was that, February when the Pokemon Direct happened? Um, I'm a little worried about it, but if they do show this game running on a pro like i said there's no way in hell i'm not going to talk about the pro anymore i can see it running way better 60 frames maybe <laughs> who knows there's already a lot of rumors about it being a, an oled screen and it's gonna have uh, 4k and shit i'm like okay <laughs> let's calm down um will it be 4k i'll be okay i'll be happy if it's 1080p 4k shit that shit will be like 800 dollars um all right so uh, Bayonetta 3, this is another hopeful one. They will show it, there will be gameplay, it will look great, and it will also be a pro launch title. See why I said I'm, I'm not done talking about pro? I think the pro is going to be a big thing, obviously, at the C3. Obviously, it will be, and they're going to mention it a lot. Uh, it, all these games also will be able to be played on Switch regular, because it would be kind of shitty if they weren't, um, but they just will run way better on the switch pro so i'm gonna say banana 3 is gonna be shown finally you know what i'm gonna say yes and you know what banana 3 i i've said it multiple times in previous directs so i'm just gonna go right past it and say there you go i think it's gonna be shown and guess what else is gonna be there metroid prime 4 now i have a feeling this might even close out the nintendo uh direct if they don't show any breath of the wild which is a possibility i guess um they could come out and say like we have nothing to show bye you know <laughs> um but they could close it because remember two years ago at this point they said retro studios but is it retro studios right i think it's retro um was taking the reins over because uh the people that were making it before weren't it wasn't looking too good so that was two years ago that was i think early 2019 right so it's been a little over two years i'm sure we had you know what happened last year happened um you could say COVID now like they take it down or anything but um they used to like mark mark things <laughs> down uh for monetization um not that i really care but um yeah i just don't i i, I don't see it not being at least presentable in some way like at least a trailer just say hey it's a thing you know so i think metro prime trailer or an update maybe they'll come out and say like Yo, Metro Prime 4, yo, it's 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 looking good. And you know what? Maybe I could see them, and they shouldn't do this because the last time it didn't work out when they just showed a logo. But I could see them coming out and just saying, hey, it's it's being worked on. It's it's it, smooth development. Everything's good. And you know what? We want to share the actual title. And it'll be Metro Prime 4, I don't know, uh, uh, Devastation or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> just coming up with a fucking subtitle. Uh, uh, Corruption 2. Metro Prime 4, Corruption 2. Which I never finished Corruption because... Uh, at that point, I was, like, done with the Wii. <laughs> I was like, I don't fucking care anymore. I didn't really like Metro Prime 3. Uh, oh! Metro Prime Trilogy. Release it, cowards. That, that'd be perfect! They talk about Metro Prime 4. They'll be like, hey, we're up... We're, we're all, development is, is steady. It's good and whatnot. Um, but here's something cool for you Metro fans. And then it's Metro Prime Trilogy. Um... I didn't even have write that on my notes. That would be a perfect thing to do. Someone from Metro saying, hey, it's 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 coming along. But you know what? We've also been working on this thing. And it's the Metro Prime Trilogy. Because uh, Retro had to have been working on something before they started working on Metro Prime 4, right? Because they weren't doing anything for like a few years. Um, some, I mean, not that they were working on Metro Prime Trilogy for that long. But maybe they were, you know, updating it. You know, doing some stuff with that. And then they started finishing up. And Nintendo was like, hey, can you do Metro Prime 4 also? You know, hey you know um oh i hit my hand um i don't know probably that's probably a, that's also hopeful um i think this is something we're gonna definitely see uh new amiibos you're gonna see a uh uh sword uh busty sword girl from xenoblade um i'm sure we'll see uh the sephiroth one i think they already confirmed that's coming so we'll probably see that and we'll have release dates for them new amiibos maybe a, a cool one i could see like a really cool like a uh, amiibo for like I don't know, a different game. Uh, maybe some Pokemon Amiibos. Maybe some more Animal Crossing Amiibos. I don't know. I don't think Animal Crossing Amiibos did very well, though. Um, 
What else? Uh, new Pokemon Snap Amiibos? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get a bunch of new Amiibos. There, there's going to be one that I'll be like, oh, I need that. You know, just with the Skyward Sword one that they uh, announced recently. I'm sure there's going to be one that's amazing. That's like amazing. Like Sephiroth will be really cool. I'm wrong. I have the two cloud ones and I'll definitely begin that Sephiroth one. But like there's going to be one they show that's like fucking ooh. Ooh, dynamite. Um, I bet they also have something like the Game & Watch thing they, they showed off last year with the Mario 50th anniversary. 35th anniversary. 50th. It hasn't been 50 years. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Because um, I remember when that game was still relatively new. Um, only a few years old. But, um, anywho. Uh, well, at least it was new to us. Um, so that'd be, that'd be cool if they have something like that, you know, just, just spitballing things, just like some nice little limited run things that, oh, you can only get for a few months until they took them off the freaking market again. I could see that. Um, now we're getting back to hopeful. Okay. They will show off some new SNES games going to Nintendo online. And yeah, you guessed it. You guessed it. Frank Stallone. If you get that reference, good for you. Um, Earthbound and Chrono Trigger are coming to the SNES area. <laughs> and maybe a bunch of other ones. You wanted, uh, I don't know, what's a game? Uh, uh, the original Harvest Moon? That would be amazing, actually. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> I would definitely play that. Um, but whatever. Think about whatever. Earthbound, Mother 3 or 4 or 8 or whatever one you guys want. It's coming. Just being hopeful. But I could definitely see them adding some more SNES games. And everybody wants Earthbound and everybody wants Chrono Trigger. I could see those being like a quick like new Switch uh, or new SNES games are coming to Switch Online. Uh, and then and then Bill Trennan or whoever does the freaking voiceover is like, uh, relive the uh, the adventure of Chrono and his fucking friends or whatever. And everybody would be like, oh my god, I'm going to explode jizz, you know. Uh, which will be me. I just played Chrono Trigger again recently, so I wouldn't mind playing it again. Um, and uh, Earthbound, of course. I never actually finished Earthbound, so that'd be cool. I mean, I've seen it played through, so I've already seen it, but I've never played through it all the way myself. Um, um, and also, I mean, I feel like we say this every time there's a new Nintendo Direct coming up, but uh, I guess I guess maybe N64 games. Hmm, eh probably not they'll just remake all the n64 games or like make them look a little bit better and then release them as 60 dollar games i'm sure that'll happen way before we get n64 games on switch but who knows maybe virtual consoles back i don't know probably not eat our balls we're nintendo eat dick um there's been a lot of rumors about a new Donkey Kong uh, game and i can totally see that happening uh there is a lot of rumors about it being a game made by the mario odyssey team so it'll be a 3d uh game which would be amazing but i actually see it not being that and maybe some rumors got like twisted around and stuff and it just being a new donkey kong like country game which would be amazing too that'd be awesome um so i could totally see i'll say this this is my this is my prediction donkey kong will make an appearance in a game that's that's my prediction <laughs> he will show up he will rear his head head his head he will rear rear his head um so cool um oh i wrote this one as a gag it's finally happening netflix is coming to, to the switch and a bunch of other apps are coming they're gonna announce a overhaul of the dashboard experience on switch they're gonna have a new dashboard it's gonna be reminiscent of the meverse on the weverse uh the wii u the wii u the wii the meverse whatever it's called it's gonna be kind of like that where it's a community based thing and they're gonna have a bunch of new apps they're gonna have amazon prime they're gonna have netflix they're gonna have porn hub they're gonna have all all the apps you've been wanting, you know, Pornhub logo right next to Mario's face. That's what's going to happen. Um, honestly, though, that'd be amazing if they did have a new like Amiiverse style like dashboard because the dashboard is cool for Switch. It's very clinical, though. It's just like mm, there it is. And it's been like that for four years. Um, but it'd be cool if they, they updated it and made it like at least give us like dynamic themes or some personality to it like switch like nintendo is all about personality well at least the games are um most of them um so it's just weird like even the like the wii and the wii u wii u was not a great console but it had an amazing amazing dashboard i love the miiverse i thought it was such a good idea um bringing it back would be cool the switch verse i don't know switch verse makes it sound like a fucking 
a stupid like MCU ripoff or something like <laughs> the switch verse. Um, all right. So we'll wrap it up here. Uh, I have just like a, a couple of montage things. Uh, they're, they're gonna have a few updates for games. Um, this isn't a montage, but these are just quick little things. They'll probably have updates for certain games like animal crossing. will have a new update, uh, new Pokemon snap might have like a free update or something. Uh, a bunch of other games. I could just list off games that have been, you know, like, Maybe they'll show something about, like, I don't know, any anything. Like, really anything. I, I just put this here as just, like, a thing. Um, uh, and they're going to have a montage showing all the games that are coming out soon. So you have, like, No More Heroes 3, uh, Mario Golf, uh, Pokemon uh, Shining Diamond and, and Amazing Pearl, or whatever it's called. Um, whatever else is coming. They'll have a, 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 they'll have a thing for it. Um so that pretty much wraps up my predictions for the show and what i think might possibly happen but i did write down some wild predictions things that will definitely not happen nowhere near ever will happen but before we do that let me just wrap it up just real quick and say what i i predict um breath of wild 2 launch with pro uh smash fighter master chief doom slayer or crash bandicoot if not any of those three wrapping a noose around my neck <laughs> um i could see it being like sora Everybody wants Sora, even though I think they already had some Square Enix representation recently, but I could see, still see it happening. Who knows? Uh, Game Pass on Switch, <laughs> maybe, with Master Chief being revealed right after, maybe, for Smash, or, or right before, I don't know. Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, I could see them showing a little bit of it, but going into a deep dive later, um, showing it running on the Pro. Um, Banner 3 Pro launch. That'd be cool. Um, Metroid Prime 4 trailer update or whatever. Would a potential lead up to a Metroid Prime trilogy uh, HD collection, um, which would be easy. Just take the freaking the Wii game and hey, honestly, just give us the Wii game. I'll play them 480 fucking P. I don't care. Um, I don't want to play them with the motion controls though. So never mind. Don't don't give us that. Update them so I don't need to play them. Do, do a Skyward Sword with them and just like update them. Uh, oh, there you go. That's another game they'll probably show in the montage. It's Skyward Sword. Um, they won't show it again though. Um, they'll show some new amiibos. They might show the Skyward Sword one just to be like, hey, yeah, this is already sold out. You fucked up, you know? Um, new Switch game. I mean, new Switch games. New new SNES games uh, like Earthbound and Chrono Trigger would be really nice, but it could be a bunch of other like lesser ones that they usually do. Um, but if they were going to show any SNES games on a Direct, especially an E3 Direct, it would definitely be chrono trigger earthbound the two people want every time they announce more snes games on switch either chrono trigger or earthbound trends on twitter because they want they want it you know people want it i want it too uh maybe n64 games on switch probably not new donkey kong game in whatever form donkey kong will make an appearance i i assure you that new apps Netflix, Pornhub, it's coming. Updates for games like for Animal Crossing, Pokemon Snap, whatever. Montage for games like No More Heroes 3, Mario Golf, Pokemon Diamond, and, and Pearl remakes, um, and the other thing. All right, so that's the wrap up. That's all my predictions there. Now let's get into some wild predictions. This, this is, this is. I need to take a sip because this, this is, this is crazy. Okay, not crazy. These are just like weird. I only have three. Just three. So we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this up quick. Okay. So my first one is... Everybody's predicting... Ooh, Mario. Mario's back. You remember Mario? He's a guy. You might have heard of him. He's a little Italian guy. I think. I think he's still Italian. I don't know. He still says, it's a me, but I've never heard anybody in my fucking family say that. Um, kind of, you know, kind of stereotypical. I feel like Mario should get canceled, honestly. Um, <laughs> didn't we get persecuted enough? Um... That's a joke. I'm joking. I don't care. Um, everybody thinks Mario's going to show up. Everybody's thinking Mario Odyssey 2. But you know what? Wild prediction. Wild. It finally happens. That's right. Hotel Mario 2. No. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 3 is revealed. And it's running on Pro. And it's coming out probably next year. Not this year. Um, just a quick tease. It's looking good. It's looking amazing. Very juicy. Very nice. Is this going to happen? Probably not. That's why I put on my wild predictions. Um, but it would be nice because Mario Galaxy are fucking fantastic games. Both of them are. Um, I'm still confused why Mario Galaxy 2 was included in that Mario 3D All-Stars game. But whatever. Um, I'm still confused why that's off the market too. You can't buy it anymore. <laughs> 
Who am I to complain? I have a copy. I should just shut the fuck up. Um, so Mario Galaxy 3, that's my wild prediction. Second wild prediction. This one might not actually be that wild, but I know it's definitely not going to happen considering Skyward Sword's coming out soon on Switch. And it would be really weird to have all these old Zelda games come out the same year. Um, I mean, it's the 35th anniversary, so I guess you could say that. But flooding Zel the market with Zelda might not be a good idea. Especially since I think Breath of the Wild 2 might actually come out this year. Um, there is a possibility. You know, that's hopeful, but it, there uh, there is a possibility. Um, Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask, the 3DS ports will get spruced up and ported onto the Switch, and they'll both be on the same cart. That's a prediction. Um, that's probably not going to happen, too. There's no way in hell they'll put both of them on, a, on one cart. They will charge you $60 for each, but let's, be, let's, let's, let's try to give them the benefit of the doubt. Even though this is the company that just sold a 3DS game nobody remembers called Miitopia for $50. Bucks. Um, they, just, they just sold it recently again on Switch. A 3DS game. Nobody remembers. Miitopia. It's on Switch now. Everybody, that game's already been on the 3DS. I think some people don't actually realize. They think that's like a, a new game. It's not. I'm sure there's a lot of people that, that knew that was not a new game. Um, but whatever. Uh, so Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. That would be really nice. Really, really nice. And my last one. This one's wild. Uh, if they show no Metroid anything at Nintendo... Is it like Metro Prime 4 is what I mean. Um, or Trilogy. Maybe we have a Samus Returns situation here. Remember when like when they showed Metro Prime 4 and then they showed Samus Returns? Um, and Samus Returns actually came out. And it was great. Um, it was great. I mean, it was really good. It was a really damn good 3DS uh, remake of Metro Prime 2. Or just, I'm sorry, Metroid 2. Not Prime 2. Um, and they do that again. They remake another portable Metroid game either fusion or zero mission honestly i'd be okay with either i love both of those games uh zero mission i'd probably like maybe a little bit more um which is technically a remake in itself but whatever um i love those games either one maybe both that'd be cool too um the big dream would be if like konami said recently that they they actually were gonna they were they have a bunch of games to show but they're not gonna show anything at e3 or they're not gonna have a conference at e3 the big dream would be like if if a new castlevania game got a, a reveal that um the nintendo direct or whatever and, and it looks great and it's a 2d game but uh hey i'll take a metroid 2d game a metroidvania 2d game you goddamn right i will um but there you go metroid metroid i keep wanting to say metroid prime metroid fusion or zero mission remake on switch Ooh, that'd be juicy maybe both who knows <laughs> no it's not gonna happen and get uh the same guys that did um that did uh samus returns they i don't think they've done anything since i could be wrong there was that mercury steam i think those are the same guys that did uh the castlevania lords of shadow games I know they did a 3DS game. That was pretty good, actually. That was probably the last, like, good Castlevania game, really. <laughs> the Lords of Shadow, uh, Portrait. No, not Portrait. That's a DS game. Uh, I played, like, maybe a few hours, but I never finished it. But it was pretty good. Anyway, um, that is it. That is it. I mean, those predictions went on way too long. I know. I'm sure most people aren't going to watch all that. But, um, yeah, it's just me rambling. Uh, I'll try to make the other predictions videos a little bit shorter. Um but uh yeah this one i just rambled and uh i hope you enjoyed it let me know what your predictions are in the comments below of course i would love to hear them or see them or read them whatever you know what i mean uh and uh yeah there you go so um will any of this happen probably not what will we get instead we'll probably get like pikmin 4 or uh, uh a new kirby game a new yoshi yarn game uh a new uh glover game Ooh, oh oh glover yo i'm in never mind i'm turning around actually new glover game shit baby i'm in 